from a playing perspective, if I'm able to feel comfortable at the club to express myself in an open forum and to play the way I want to play, that's that's what I say. That's success as a player. Yeah. I kind of want to still dive into the culture around the cats. Um, from the outside looking in, it feels like, and being a Madge along support, it feels like we have a great culture. I'm just trying to understand, like, what is there something common? Like, you can't just create culture, I guess. Like, uh, is it just because of these that early 2000s team? Did winners, they create that culture, that winning, winning like, culture? Yeah, I mean, it's a hard one. It's, isn't it? it's a hard question yeah. to answer because, like, what do you, like what is culture? Oh, we've been trying to figure that <laughs> out every <laughs> fucking week. Yeah, we're trying yeah, to figure that shit out, man. So That's for, why we're here. Yeah. So for, yeah. a, for a footy club, it's I feel as though like you hear the media, oh, Richmond have got a great culture. Are they? Is their culture like? Have they got a great culture because they've won three of the last four flags? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Like, Maybe that's, is, is that culture? So is, it's just is, winning. Exactly. Makes you, winning, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Are, are yeah. They, or are they the most winningest team? Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm not saying like Richmond have like. Knowing some of those blokes, like they do have a good culture. Like Sean Griggs from Richmond, I know yeah. some, of, some of the things they do. But like, is your is your culture being like North Melbourne, being debt free for the first time in however long? Yeah, like, true. Like, from a playing perspective, if I'm able to feel comfortable at the club to express myself in an open forum and to play the way I want to play, that's that's what I say. That's culture success. is as a player. Yeah. 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 That's that's my culture. Yeah. But that's different to like the board or the executive. And that, that's test like like to North Melbourne to your point with North Melbourne to get Danny Laidley back yeah, down absolutely. there. But that's culture, right? Yeah. That's the top, the very yeah. top, saying this is who we are, this is how we roll. Yeah, and that's sort of setting the standard. So you're spot on. Like it's not. I reckon you're right. Winning. I think by default people think when you win that's a good culture, yeah. but you can still be a winning team and have a shit culture, right? Oh, absolutely. Cr- Australian cricket team. Yeah, 100%. comes to mind, right? The other, back in the day, I'm not a big cricket fan, but you know, those guys. Were winners have yeah. been winners all, and I suppose that's why they were able to get away with that bad culture for so long because people assume, well, they're winners, so they're good. Mm. But the reality is, the culture was pretty, pretty, yeah, pretty bad. Yeah, absolutely. And it, the Geelong culture of, as you said, like those two thousand years, like when Geelong started winning flags, like it took them to sit down, look each other directly in the eye, and tell them what they thought of each other. Mm. Like that's mm. different to what it is now. Mm. So, like, um, did they win because they had? the right group of people at the right time to win that premiership and then develop their culture Locked from there. Mm, yeah. And then has it evolved from having Joel come in at 18 and, and learn and see through that and then see what he identifies as culture and he drives that standard. Mm. And, and then Scotty comes in at 2011 and drives his sort of culture. And, and I learned from someone like yeah. Ty, uh, Tom, was it Tom Harley? The, yeah, Tom Harley. Yeah. This, he this, was, this, he this, was massive. Yeah. yeah. Cause I've got, I've got a big question, <clears throat> a good, uh, like a good question around that. So Tom Harley, I'm not a, like I follow my footy, but I'm not mad like these guys. But correct me if I'm wrong. Like Tom Harley arguably wasn't the best player at Geelong, but he was the best leader. Yeah. So th- that's culture. That's, that's having the balls to not just pick you. Cause most clubs will just get the best player. Right. They'll go, all right. This dude's the leader. Mm. Everyone follow him, man. You do more of that shit. And we're going to, we're going to, we're yeah. going to be good. Right. But I think Matt, they did it with Maxwell down at the Pies. You know, yeah. I think that at the time I remember they were, you know, was Maxwell even in the best 22 every week, you know, but his leadership qualities were that important that um, the, the culture was built around him and the, or whether it be Tom Harley or or, uh, or Maxwell built around those guys and the culture builds out from there. Does that sort yeah, of make any yeah, sense? Yeah, definitely. I, I think uh, we touched on Tom Harley, like our best Clubman Awards called the Tom Harley Award. So if, yeah. that's, not, if that's not an everlasting effect of the way you've sort of – um, evolved or, or changed the club. Like, I don't know what it is. He's a CEO of Sydney. Yeah. Yeah. Sydney yeah. And when you talk about changing the club, we're talking about culture, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. Like, yep. So, like, I mean, and then, like, your leadership piece, Matthew Scarlett was one of the best leaders of men on the field, but never had the title of vice captain. He was never in the leadership group. Yeah. But because he understood what it took to win, like, does leadership cross over? Again, like, does the winningness cross over to leadership and culture? Like, there's there's so many blurry lines, I think, um, when you're talking about culture, because you can, like, like where is your, where do you hang your hat? Like, where is it that you go? That's culture, or that's culture. Because you could have the values, but if you're losing every week, exactly. we go, oh, I love yeah, you, fucking exactly. Your values yeah, are yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs>